starting now. Sorry. I can remember the first stuff. Uh... Yeah, it's just the stretches that we missed. Oops, sorry. <laughs> if we don't know them by now, there's something wrong. I got too excited saying happy birthday to Kim that I forgot to hit start. <laughs> My fault. My granddaughter's birthday is today, too. I, I'm going to her birthday party tonight. I forgot. Yay. Yay, <laughs> parties. She turned 12. Oh, she can get her shot. Happy birthday, you get a shot. <laughs> <Won't> get one. <laughs> okay. So now let's go on to our back and either do figure four bridge or single leg bridge. You're, pick your poison. Figure four or single leg, okay. Laura, you might need to hit the button since I started the recording late. I don't know if you need to or not. I might, would I? Oh, I have to, oh yeah. Yeah, you have to hit a button, right? I see, let me, let me get up and uh, click it. I see. Got it. Okay. Got All it. Right. So either figure four or one knee towards your chest, single leg bridge. Ready? Go. Or oh, whoops, I haven't done bridges. Okay. So hold it about three seconds, down slow. If you're cramping, dig through those heels so we don't cramp. If you are doing single leg and you get pooped, you can always go to cross leg. If you're doing cross leg, get pooped. You can do double leg. Let's see if I can do single leg. Oh yeah. Still got it, huh, Lori? I still got it. <laughs> I still got it. Yay. It's like riding a bike. It sure is. I love this class. This is just so good. And I had one of the table ladies reach out to me asking if I was doing it in person yet because I don't think she liked the Zoom version. Oh. And I said, no, not yet. I just, I really don't have time in my schedule to even do another class. Wow, this is great. Congratulations. Yeah, it's been very busy. Very wonderful. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. Make sure you line those feet up hip width apart. Don't put your foot in line with your belly button. You want it right in line with your sits bone or your hip. Okay, ready, go. These have all gotten so much better on everyone. If oh, you're looking level, oh. height is looking good. Oh, good. Can I remember when you could barely do a two leg bridge when we met? I know. <laughs> Some days I can't do it now if I forget to do something about my back before I exercise. Yeah. <laughs> it goes to show how much stronger your core's getting. Yeah. You know, it's never too late to get stronger. Okay, so now let's put our clam band on, but we're gonna do dead bug or dying bug, whatever you like to call it on your back. So band around your thighs, just above your knees. 
And then we're gonna start on our back and the 90-90 position, so arms straight up, hips bent 90, knees bent 90 with your shins parallel to the floor to the ceiling. And then we'll do alternating arm and leg back and nice and slow. So you're gonna exhale as your arm and leg go away from your body, inhale on the return to the resting position, exhale is the opposite arm, so you're gonna alternate. All right, we're trying to go 90 seconds, ready, Go. So exhale away, inhale straight up, exhale away, inhale straight up. Nice and slow with your breathing. I heard a exhale from someone. That's good. Keep that Me. slow. <laughs> Okay, rest a second, and then we'll do a second round of 45. Everyone's backs are okay? Yep. All right, back up to tabletop position or 90-90, arms up. Okay, ready, go. Exhale away. Inhale back to midline. Exhale away. Lori or Kim, have you heard from Judy at all? No. No? No. I wonder if she got a new car. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, no. Keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. I wonder if Ann ever had her surgery. Oh, yeah. I should shoot a couple of texts to each of them. Okay, so relax and we're going to do clams next. So keep that band on. Okay, so make sure those hips are stacked perpendicular to the ground. Your knees are stacked right on top of each other. As you lift up, do not roll back. Okay, ready, go. Pause and then down slow, equal descent the whole way. Don't let it go fast to the top where there's a lot of tension and only go slow where there's half the amount of tension. Even descent. I know all the cheats, I've been a patient. <laughs> Too many times. Been there, done that. It's so funny when patients go, how do you know that's exactly what I was doing? <laughs> Two. <laughs> it's human nature. Take the easy way out. It's not going to help anyone. So at least my rats aren't crying right now. Your rats? Yeah, they're crying in the wall. You have rats at your house? Yes, they're in my wall, in between Ooh. my bathroom and my garage. Oh, Kim, and they sound so creepy. I sent, I sent Lori a tape of all their <laughs> chirping. Oh my That's God, horrible. it's just creepy. I, I, I don't all know. Right. Let's roll over to the other side. I think so I found the opening. through your roof? No, I think they're coming from my neighbor's house. And I found an opening in the front of his house. But he Ew. never gets around to doing anything. So I'm taking care of it. Okay. Well, to your, probably to your benefit. Uh, yeah, exactly. So <laughs> the pest control is coming next Tuesday. Oh, good. Oh, good. All right. Ready? Go. 
And they're going to they're gonna patch or do that. You got to trap them first, then plug the hole. You well, you know what they do? They build a one-way door that fits the spot. Right. And they give it time so the rats leave and they can't get back in. Yeah. And then they seal it up. Yeah. That's right. You don't want to trap them in there because it's not going to smell oh. so good. They smell enough now, believe me. Ugh. Yeah, so Love neighbors. <laughs> Gotta love it. I told him three years ago to have those places closed up. Yeah, well, now it's so easy, too. They have all that spray foam. You can even just buy it yourself at Home Depot. Yeah, yeah. Well, at least you found the, the entrance. That's I'm the hoping place. that's it, yeah. yeah. I heard I heard a rat going up there the other night when I went out to put a trap out. <laughs> oh, gross. I know. Rodents gross me out, whether they're squirrels or whatever in your house. No. Nope. Um, well, they've been pigeon, taking... We had a pigeon infestation in our house in Italy. Oh, no. Okay, good. Band can come off. Let's come up to our half kneeling position for the front of the hip stretch. Pigeon poop is the worst. Well, that's, yeah. So like my aunt noticed staining because they had pooped so much that it soaked through whatever three quarter inch. Oh, no. That's and so they had to replace the ceiling in the bedroom. Oh, that's disgusting. And then they had to figure out because our house has like those old terracotta like arches, right? As a back oh. for the, and they were going in there. Oh, and they were nesting and pooping and grossness. oh, gross. Oh, their poop is just the worst. Yeah, I love your conversation today. We've gone from rats to poop, <laughs> yeah, pigeon poop on top of it. Yeah, but yeah, pests are just pests. I had ants in my bathroom this morning and I didn't even have time to deal with it. So if they're still there, when I get home, I'll have to deal with it then. Gross. Yeah, I don't like any, I don't even like flies coming in the house. I have screens on every window yeah. and every door. It just, uh, it's just, it's smart. And then Lori, if you can't kneel when you do the other side, put your foot up on like a chair or couch. Oh, okay. I'm going to try because the, the open part wound is kind of off to the side. Yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, I'm okay. gonna see if I can because this is closed and it's, and it's going to switch sides. Let's see. Well, well they're smart too. I'll just say one more thing. They're taking the peanut butter and they're not getting trapped. Yeah, this is okay. I'm not on the wound. Okay. On the open, which is almost closed. Good. About an inch in diameter now, which is great. I know sometimes that road rash takes forever to heal because you keep cracking it open. And yeah. Well, that's what I was trying to avoid was cracking it open. So I've really done, I think I've done a really good job. Uh, okay, my flowers are pretty in my backyard. That's more pleasant. <laughs> Thank you. I like to see your flowers. Oh, they look good. Kim has the most gorgeous backyard. It's the got the best deck you've ever seen. Okay, yeah. good. So now let's come up to standing. Now we haven't done these in a while. So if you need a chair, grab a chair for balance. And we're gonna just go on your own go and what feels good. And you're gonna go into kind of that long forward backward stance and 
try to work your way down towards the ground. If you can make it to the ground, don't crash your knee into it. So a lunge basically, and if you need to, you can hold on to something for balance. I only want to see about five to 10 on each side. So don't hurt your knee. So nice long stride. The goal is try to get about a 90 degree knee bend at the hip and the knee. And just if your body tells you five is enough, five's enough. If you can do a little more, do a little more. 90, which is 90 degrees? Both. Oh. Now, Lori, they're going to crunch. Don't worry. I, I, <laughs> you look from the side, right? So 90 degrees here, 90 degrees here. I see. Okay. If you can. And just do about five or 10, not a lot. Okay. Ah, man. Oh. Talk about it. Carolyn, do you have a place to hook your armbands up where you're at? And you too, Gail? Well, Gail, you have the spindles of your stairs, so you're good. No, I don't. I don't. No, is there a door you can close it in nearby? Your closet oh. door. <laughs> Coat closet. Sorry. I'm not, I'm in a living room with no, uh, with no, I'll just have to do it afterwards. Okay. I just realized since you're in a new place. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Um, yeah, I still have my strap hooked up downstairs, so. Okay. I'll just do that. All right. So I want to do the standing heel toe balance with the arm pulls, but you can just do arm movements, and I'll probably. Are we switching? The arm pulls. Yeah. Okay. I have weights. Well, you could try that. That might work. Yeah. And don't overdo it, guys. If you've done five to ten on each side, just that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh no, what did I what did I put too far down? Yeah. <laughs> there. Okay, so what, stand. what are we doing for the armband thingy? Yeah, heel toe with straight arms pulling back. Let me and see you. Let me see. Oh, oh okay. Oh. Can you see me? Yeah. Okay. So standing heel toe. Ready. Go. Tall posture. Pinch your blades together. Let it go out slow forward. One that my shoulder PT just showed me yesterday. Good. Okay, yeah. Is it down? Yeah, straight, back? no, straight arm down by your hip. You got it. And and pinch shoulders. Pinch your shoulder blades. Yep. Make yourself an inch taller every time you pull back. I wish. <laughs> Carolyn, how's the balance with the dumbbells? I'm balancing. It's interesting. Is different than with the bands. Yeah, the band helps hold me up straight. <laughs> you can kind of use it as rudders to steer. Yeah. <laughs> okay, rest a second and we'll switch feet. Get your balance again, find something to stare at. Ready, go. Oh, Danielle, when I was doing the couch one the other day with Kim, it broke. My band broke. I, you've been using it for the whole COVID time, and it finally... Which one did? 
the the one that's on attached to the couch oh my, my red long one it's been sitting there all during COVID, and i've been using it right and it, it just but it didn't have a warranty <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's pretty good that it lasted this long. Yeah. I was impressed. So I just made another knot on it. Yeah. Okay. So then next we're going to do single leg calf raises. So if you need to hang on to the wall or back of a chair or something lightly for balance, we'll do a minute on each side for that. Stand on one leg, make your thigh tight, butt tight, core tight. You ready, Lori? <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Everyone else is staring at me. <laughs> okay. There. okay, ready. Okay, ready, set, go. Keep your knee lock tight by keeping your quads and your glutes tight. Pause at the top, down, slow. In the living room. Oh. <laughs> I'm doing my exercise class. Oh, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and switch sides. All right. What, what are you doing standing by the front door? <laughs> yeah, two minutes. So your package hasn't come on time yet, huh, Gail? What? Your package hasn't come on time then? <laughs> Not yet. Now you keep waiting. Okay. As you get tired, try to still get up to that same height you started out with. Down slow. Okay, now we'll do our runner stretch. So make sure you have room to do a nice long stride. And make sure your foot's pointing straight ahead, your hips pointing straight ahead. If you think your foot's pointing straight ahead, take a look back at it. A lot of people, what you think and what it is, <laughs> it's not the same. Make sure that heel stays glued to the ground. Well, Gail, it seems like you have good internet reception in that room. Oh, yeah, I get good reception in here. Yeah. And Carolyn, too, you seem to work out fine. Yeah, it's working. More birthday calls, Kim? No, it sounds like a weird number. <laughs> I don't recognize that one. I'm going to get it. It's on my home phone. I get all my spam calls. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and switch sides. And I swear my parents have a landline just for calling Europe. I'm like, it seems so not effective, but whatever. That's what well, if the cell phones go off, the landlines will still work. 
Yeah, unless you have all portable phones like my parents do. So their power was out today and the only phone they could use was their cell phones. Oh, wow. Because I called my parents' home phone and they didn't answer it. So what the hell, where'd they go already this morning? Tell them to, tell them to go to a, an old, what are you, the curiosity? Analog machine. phone. I know they don't own one. They should keep one analog phone, but they don't. I, yeah, we keep one up in our closet just for that. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know why they said they had no idea why their power was out. They didn't get any message or anything. So I don't know. They're not they're not near fires, are they? No, and they're not really in an area where they turn them off. You know, they're in a normal residential yeah. neighborhood. Yay, I finished on time today and it get kicked off. <laughs> Happy birthday, Kim. Have a Happy birthday, Kim. Thanks. Happy All right. Birthday. Have a nice one, ladies. Bye. Thank you. Thanks. All right, Kim, what time Bye. are you coming tomorrow? Um, let's see. I, I have a doctor's appointment till 1130, and then I'll come over. Okay. Is that okay? Are you coming tomorrow to hang out with Kim? No, I don't. I think she's coming Thursday, right, Lori? Thursday. I'm coming Thursday, but you're going tomorrow, right? Yeah, because I have my shot. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Kim, how's your plant doing? Is it better? My what? Your plant. Is it better? It's doing better. And the other thing the plant lady at the plant store said is to use distilled water. Oh. If the edges are brown because it's chemical. Oh, okay. Right. I, went, I, went, I went to the nursery and they said, well, he's probably getting too much water or too little. And I'm going, oh. <laughs> all right see you guys later Danielle I, I took a picture of that gorgeous plant on on um, Maggie's desk the little tiny one I'm going to send it to you it's the picture is gorgeous okay I'll send it to you too Kim okay right. bye. okay bye you guys bye